Hello everybody, my name is Damon, and welcome back to some Pokemon Spirit Emerald Challenge Lock. If you're new to the series and you're wondering what Pokemon Spirit Emerald is, or what the or what the rules of the Challenge Lock are, you can go ahead and watch this intro video right here, as it will likely give you a much better explanation than I could than what I could do offhand. It's not thoroughly detailed, it does have some examples of videos from other games that I play, etc, etc, etc. But I hope that will provide you some kind of insight if you're wondering what the series is. Now, if you did not watch the last episode and you're wondering what's happening here, uh, before I go ahead and give you any expo any spoilers, why don't you go ahead and watch the video right here. If you don't care for spoilers and you don't want to watch the last episode, then I'll just inform you as to what happened anyways, as I will inform the other people that forgot as well. But, in the last episode, uh, where we left off, we went, we made it here to Marvel City after dealing with a few trainers to the, uh, to, uh, on Route 103, I believe, uh, north of, uh, Old Dale Town, except we're on the other side of the river now. Uh, we also fought May underneath Cycling Road. She gave us a bit of a problem, but we made it through pretty okay, I guess. We then made it here to Mobile City, which kind of shocked me, because I'm used to playing the Omega Ruby's version. And Omega Ruby, uh, Mobile is, uh, quite bigger than this. Its layout is entirely different, which struck me very off-kilter when I came here, and I was like, whoa, we are in a much different place. Play shot for all, Marvel Game Corner, yep, and in Omega Ruby, that does not exist. That was out of business, I believe. But anyways, in today's episode, we will be going ahead exploring Marvel, talking to Wally over there. Also, we got a couple of encounters in eggs. Uh, we got... I don't remember which egg is which. One of them is a real, one of them is a Beldum. I know that much. We also got some starters in the last episode. Uh, we caught Raytel, we caught Vinny, uh, I think that was it, pretty sure. But still, we have so much power on the PC, I guess, all of them being starters, which is okay, I guess. Did you know that you can go from here a long way in that direction without changing direction? I might even be able to roll that way. Do you think your Pokemon will want to roll too? Uh, I already have a rollout on Paul. Yasmak can learn rollout, no thanks. Anyways, um, alright, I was going to talk to you. Rydell Shops, I believe. Well, 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 what have we here? A most energetic customer. Me, you may call me Rydell. I'm the owner of this soccer shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come here from far away? Yes, yeah, I came here from a couple routes away. I had to take a boat, I had to take another boat, and I had to walk on the sands and everything. It's no wonder that my shoes are kind of ruined. I hate walking on sand with shoes, it just feels weird, and then your shoes get all gritty and stuff, and I'm probably tracking a lot of mud in here as well, which is probably why he called them filthy. Hmm, hmm, you're saying that you came all the way here from Little Boot? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily without feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. They are the Mach Bike and Aqua Bike. Mach Bike is for the cyclists who want to feel the wind with their bodies. And an aqua bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which one will you choose? I guess I'll have the ma mock bike. Thanks for this really expensive bike you're just kind of handing off to me. For no reason at all. If you get the urge to switch bikes, just come see me, man. Thanks. I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bike, there are a couple of handbooks in the back. Not like I can explain it to you, I just start today. That's why I'm reading those handbooks. I don't know how to ride a bike. Okay, so there's battles over there. However, there's a very particular battle I wish to take part in right now. Still want Paul to get some levels. <clears throat> also, I apologize yet again for the interruptions of last episode and the episode before that. And me having to redo uh, the episode, or last episode, because I did not save. But, I will make sure that in the event that... At any point where I believe I'm going to be interrupted, I will make another save state just in case something were to go wrong. <clears throat> the roads of this town stretch north and south and east and west. Because of that, we get all sorts of people coming through. I guess that's why Marvel is a really big city in the Omega Ruby. We also have a daycare here. Interesting, lots of people we can battle. And if I'm not mistaken, these are pinup berries? No! I guess they were just pinup berries in Omega Ruby. Huh. Because in Omega Ruby, like I said before, I was the contest, or I am the contest guy. I've completed all the contests, Master Rank, Beat, Leisha, Lisa, what, I don't know how you say her name, it's L-I-S-I-A. 
Alright, sorry, I thought I was being interrupted there. That is why I made a safe state there, in case anything had gone wrong and I had to, you know, continue the next day, which I didn't, thankfully. Uh, I was talking about Leisha, Lucia, right? Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby Contest Girl, yeah. Uh, beat her, everything's nice. Don't want to give too many spoilers, I guess, even though that is spoilerific. Anyways, let's go ahead and fight Wall. We have... Paul in the front, okay, good. <clears throat> oh, Uncle, please. I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. Please, may I, please? Excuse me. Now hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokemon, you have grown quite a lot stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Ralts, we can beat anyone. Oh, hi, Hisao. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Hisao, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Hisao, please, will you have a battle with me? I don't think I can push the story any other way, so sure. Hisao, thank you. Okay, here I come. Alright. Nice hair. Pokemon trainer, Wallet would like to go out. That's a lot more than just Ralts, bud. Okay, starts with Staravia. Um. Okay. So, I want you to get experience, Paul. But as we've learned with that Talo, you being in is probably not going to be the best thing right now. Then again, I don't know what else I would do. Guess I could go into you and Rock Tomb. That wouldn't be that bad, actually. Well, if I could go into you, Sleep Powder, and then go into you and Rock Tomb, that'd be good. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do, because I don't trust Paul to take out a Staravia, even if I went for a Defense Curl. I'd probably use something like Double Team. Yep, Double Team, okay. <clears throat> if we had gone for a Defense Curl, Rock Tomb, or not Rock Tomb, our Rollout would have never hit. I assume. That's what was happening with the, uh, Kalo, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm forgetting. Sleep Powder, please. Sunshine. Sunshine! Can, can you hit this once, maybe? Jesus Christ! Okay, well, this is bad. Sarah? Sarah, you need to hit a rock tomb. <clears throat> like, at some point. Thank you, Sarah! Okay, you probably would have died otherwise. I hate bird Pokemon. We need something, like, electric to deal with that. Gligar. Why do you have all flying types? Answer me that. Okay. Sunshine, please. At least this guy will be freaking uh, double teaming the entire time. We'll be doing acrobatics, though. As long as you stay asleep, I can drain some XP off of you. Or drain some health off of you. Okay. Uh, let's go for a bold seed. Alright. Don't want to waste all my Mega Drains. This is scary. There's the Curlia. Okay. Go and Sarah's weak to that too. God damn it. Uh, am I faster than a Curlia? I am. Hopefully. Bolt seed. We just need damage. We need damage. Okay, good. Good job, Sunshine. Level 30, of course. We need experience shares, is what we need. I don't know where we get those in this game. Because everything's been switched around, so even if I looked it up. We probably wouldn't get to it right away. Or, yeah, I mean, it'd probably be in a different location. Okay, can I put you to sleep? Thank you. Because I don't need you. Oh, God. That was five times. Alright, Sarah. Please don't wake up. Thank you. Oh, it's just Fire Spin. Because even if it wakes up, Fire Spin will take care of it. And if not, Peck is 100% accuracy, correct? <clears throat> Just want to make sure because Fire Spin isn't, which means I could possibly miss, but I can't miss Peck. Okay! That's a bit harder than the Wally that I remember. Oh. I lost. Uncle, I'll go back to Verdon Turf. His style, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough to just have Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be down on yourself. Why? What's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Hisao, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Verdantrip sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. 
Sure thing, Mr... I don't know what your name is. Whoa. Hi, Scott. <laughs> I was watching that match. You're friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold anything back and beat him impressively. Yeah, that's what being a po that's what a real Pokemon battle is all about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Thanks, Scott. Pokemon Insider, again. Well, we're kind of dwindling on, on health right now. Um, if at all possible, we have potions, I'm pretty sure. Probably should have used this before battle, thinking about it now. Uh, we have one potion, actually. Four super potions. Um... Okay, well, you can use the potion. You can use the super potion. Uh, sure. That's all we can really do right now. Okay! Well, we could take on the gym right now. To be honest... Uh, Sunshine would solo it, because Electric is not good against Grass, and that's all we have for that. But Route 117! Let's see if we can catch a Pokemon here that we can add to the team. Not that we don't have a lot of Pokemon in the box, they just happen to be types that we kind of already have. Except for Steel, but I'm waiting for that to hatch. And in that event, anyways, I'm still waiting for experience shares. Volbeats is our first encounter, level 17, okay. Well, that shouldn't be that bad. I'm out of sleep powders, so... Never mind about that. Okay, that didn't kill. Glad it didn't kill. Um, I would have liked you to go to sleep, though. Would have been easier to catch. Thankfully, evasiveness does not affect Pokeballs. Volbeat, okay. Volbeat data was added to the Pokedex. The Firefly Pokemon. With their taillights lit, Volbeat fly in a swarm, drawing geometric designs in the night sky. They move their nest if their pond water becomes dirty. So you're a third gen Pokemon. I forgot about that. I thought you were fourth gen. Maybe you are fourth gen, and this is just one of the things I actually included. But that'd be weird. Um, I'm just going to call you, uh, Funky. Because if you've ever seen, I, I don't know if it's Volby or Lumines, if you've ever seen one of their 3D models in Pokemon X and Y or Showdown or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, one of them, I forget which one, is always like bouncing along to some kind of beat. And that's all I can really think of that. Are you a trainer? Crap. I do my triathlon training with my Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. Okay, triathlete Maria. Farfetched. Farfetched. Okay, Paul's dead. Wow. Okay. Are you not flying? Is Farfetch not flying? Am I stupid? I realize he's like a flightless bird, but I would have thought. Ah, oh, Farfetched. Farfetched. Duh. Um, Farfetched. Is a normal flying? Why? Was that not super effective? I feel like that wasn't super effective for some reason. I can't test it right now. Jesus Christ. Alright, Sunshine could take this better than anyone, really. Swords Dance, please just die. What happened to the Fire Spin? Does it only stay up if... If, uh, Sarah's still in? That was weird. I need to get more practices in, I guess. You better be training properly. If you like, I'll battle you later. Uh, you're a trainer, I assume. That's a trainer, I assume. Well, that's bad. That's really bad, actually. I think we're severely outleveled here. Oh, you died. I can't really say much to that. I mean, just saying you kind of weren't the most impressive member of the team, nor would you have been, because... Not like you would have been able to solo Watson or anything, so you likely would have died there anyway. So, who do we want to add to the team? I guess another water type would be okay, but we are going against an electric type gym. You are... Ninkata's ground type, right? I keep forgetting this. Yeah. Of course, your evolutions aren't, so... That doesn't really qualify as anything. Um... 
Well, we should take someone. Shouldn't just leave it as is. Hmm. Someone who isn't weak to flying and psychic would be nice, but I don't want to take another fire or another grass type. Actually, you would be weak to it as well, so never mind. You're poison, so you'd be weak to both of those, never mind. Um... Nose pass? Rock. Squidward, I guess we'll take you? I mean, you aren't that bad either, droid. All things considered, you are level 14, and Squidward still has higher stats than you. Except for HP. Everything else is pretty much higher. Everything is higher, actually. So I think we're going to be taking Squidward with us. Because we need some kind of Pokemon. Although not the strongest. And to be honest, I think we're going to have to do a grinding montage. Only because, let me quickly check what Watson's highest love Pokemon is. Uh, Pokemon Watson. Because if his Pokemon highest level is in like the 30s or 40s, we're going to have a tr problem, especially if we just ended up almost dying to a random trainer on the side of the road. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, Gym Battle. Highest level Pokemon is 24. Considering Wally's Pokemon were all higher than that, I don't suspect things going well fighting Watson. So, yet again, I believe we are going to be doing a mid-grinding uh, montage, I guess you could say. Might take a little while. I think it'll be worth it. I think we're going to be training everyone up to level... 35? Does 35 sound good? Because I'm sure Sunshine can solo Watson's gym, no problem. But the other two, especially Squidward, he's going to need some serious work. I don't know how long this grinding montage is going to be, but... I guess we'll get to work. So, I know, again, this is unorthodox. I should have done this before the episode started, but I didn't know we were going to have to do this. And as far as I know, if I can quickly check... Yeah, okay, so I checked to make sure what time it was, and it really... It's been like 19 minutes or so, m mainly due to me monologuing, I assume. I guess I could end the episode off here and do the grinding montage next episode, but I think instead... I'll do the... I'll, I'll, I'll end the episode off here, and the grinding montage will be at the end of this episode. Just so that you don't have to watch at the beginning of the next episode. I don't know, I'll ask on Twitter what people want, because this video is going to be short otherwise, which doesn't really matter to me, I guess. But other than that... We really, really made no progress this episode, we just fought Wally and that was pretty much it. We also fought another trainer, and Paul died, so I guess that is some kind of thing happening. It took way longer than it should have. But anyways, thank you guys for watching regardless. Uh, next episode, when we get back, uh, our Pokemon should be trained up to level 35, and we will go ahead and take on Watson's gym. Hopefully, hopefully, we can somehow get Sarah and Squidward involved so that they can both evolve. Sunshine can already do that already, as explained before. But, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you after the grinding montage, which may be at the end of this episode or the beginning of the next episode. So this may be the end of the video. I don't know. Either way, goodbye.